Hello, welcome back. Uh, we got our spirit helmet from Agotha, that's for Beloyal. And we got the Thaumaturgy research done as well. So I can put up Purgatory now if I want to. Uh, I'll save up some fire gems and stick that up. I uh, did lots of spells, did Vaffa Flames, uh, found a Weeping Stone, another Water Gem per turn, uh, caught some Blood Saves, and then we had the two battles in Hagoria. So first up, um, these guys. So their job was just to make the enemy army blow a bunch of gems. Um, it's a very big army. So I was hoping we could do some helper communion stuff to put horrors on the map, but unfortunately um, all of our astral mages just die immediately to magic duel. Which is a bit sad. So nothing really happens over here with the communion. Uh, we then get a lot of earthquake spam which clears out a lot of stuff as well. I forgot about Earthquake. So I needed a uh, an Ermage in the Communion to mass flight, which I didn't really think of. Although if you're grounded in a storm, do you count as flying still for Earthquake? I actually don't know that. And um, there's a lot of battlefield enchantments up as well. Um, I've never had any kind of like late game demon heavy army. So there's lots of stuff I wasn't expecting because I've never had to face it before. One of them is Demon Cleansing. I think I have seen this before, right? Maybe I saw it in the Clan game or something? I don't know. But a battle enchantment you put up and then all demons just take double damage is pretty crazy. Yeah, it didn't even occur to me. And there's lots of, um, so the Water Mages are just spamming Demon Cleansing. I think that's like a big water spell, right? That's another one I, I just kind of forgot about. Yeah, I guess like big water nations are actually really good against demons. I've learned that as well from this game, which is, you know, good. And uh, yeah, this army isn't really going anywhere, it's just uh, it's just a giant rock. It puts up like a billion enchantments and then just spam spells. But you know, we did make the army you know, spend a lot of gems, which is all we really wanted to do. Um, not sure it's going to mean much though. A lot of these guys were just carrying tons of gems anyway, so. Um, there's also like, yeah, Tempest is in the army, so. Storms up immediately. There's also the Ankh in the army somewhere. So the Ankh puts up life after death immediately. Yeah, there it is. Um, so that's another kind of awkward one. So, pretty impossible army to fight for us, I think. Um, but we made it blow some gems, and um, killed a few Gigas, something. I imagine they probably killed themselves with uh, magic jewel though, right? Probably. <laughs> probably wasn't us. Uh, we got, what, nine kills total? Probably killed some Solas or something. Uh, but that was the battle outside Hagoria. Then we have the battle inside Hagoria. So I was expecting to face a lot of the big lightning spell I can never remember the name of. Um, we don't know really, it's mostly just Earthquake and Demon Cleansing. Um, but I guess I wasn't prepared for the Earthquake either. But uh, we both put up tons of spells. Uh, we actually get off Relief. We get up... Um, Firestorm as well, which does start clearing out lots and lots of the chaff, which is nice at least. There's an Earthquake. Earthquake kills quite a few mages. Not a huge loss though. Um, we get up lots of Fire Resist as well. I think a lot of the Whites end up... yeah, they got Fire Resist. Um, did any of our human mages survive? I think all of our human mages just died to the earthquake though, unfortunately. So, I'm not sure if it matters too much that um, we got some fire resist or not. Dan, did I kill all of our blood slaves as well? We got damage reverse slab, that might have been good against the earthquake. Damn, I think that just killed all of the blood slaves we had, right? Damn, how do you keep blood slaves alive versus that then? That's really awkward. I mean, I was hoping we'd have done enough um, fire fans that 
Firestorm wouldn't kill them. I wonder if they just died to Earthquake. I think we got off the fire fence, right? Yeah, all these guys have fire resist. I think everything we have has fire resist now. Yeah, we definitely got up protection from Firestorm. Okay, maybe not the Frost Fiends. Yeah, I guess all the blood saves just died to Earthquake. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Ah yeah, just tons of um, cleansing water flying in there. Enchantments, we've got Rigor Mortis, Natural Rain from the Storm. Relief is up for both of us, I think. Oh, ours died already. Um, Foul Vapors is up. I could have had Belial put up the blood spell that gives you poison protection, I guess, if he was over here, but... He wasn't here, unfortunately. Uh, we got Firestorm up. Uh, another Rigor Mortis, Grip of Winter, Demon Cleansing. Wagmire's up, Solar Eclipse, Heat from Hell, Light of the Northern Star, and Storm. Um, I think most people are asleep. Maybe not the big guys, or... They're kind of tired. Some of them are tired. The Yalls are tired. Most of our guys are tired as well. So not a lot happens at this point. Um, our thugs are all just asleep as well. <laughs> Gap on 200 fatigue. Um, like what you see on 25 fatigue, can't quite get into battle though. Uh, I think my prophet has already died. It's just this kind of... we're just stuck at this point. No one's really doing anything. Firestorm clears out some of the undead and... Everyone's just asleep. We're just sleeping in the gate. Um, gradually some people start waking up. We get a few gifts of health. Seems to usually kill one of our squares and one of his squares every turn. Some Bane Lords hitting the front. There's just not much happening. Kind of stuck here. It's uh, obviously his army's much more developed than ours at this point. Most of our stuff has just been cleared out. Uh, then this big guy gets in. Uh, this guy hits very hard with his Wraith Sword. He starts storming around the battlefield. One shotting everyone. 93 damage hits, easy. Uh, poor Gap just gets shredded. I guess the yeah the the demon cleansing thing is probably gonna yeah take double damage from a big hit like that. It's gotta suck. So gradually we've got the mummy and the uh, water trolleys just rolling in. They kill our last few dudes. Yeah, hard fight. Don't see how we could have possibly beat that army to be honest. I mean, even if I did have a better idea of what we were doing. I mean, I guess I could have put up Mass Flight quickly, and that might have helped against the Earthquakes, maybe? Because we had, um, we had Crystal Sorks. We could have Communion Mastered one of these guys and done Mass Flight. If we have it researched. Do we have it researched? Hold on. Where's Mass Flight? Is it? It's not Thaumaturgy. Is it Enchantment? Oh, we didn't even have it yet. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then. Um, <laughs> It's a, it's a different kind of mistake. It's a mistake of not researching it. Um, yeah, but there's our army. 442 things all dead. Um, you can see the big kills there from the Firestorm. Uh, the Anointed got almost a thousand kills. And that's it. We didn't really kill anything else. Um, just nobody got any kills, as you can see. Everything just died to uh, mostly just cleansing waters, I think. And the Earthquake. The Earthquake got a bunch of kills, obviously, from all the mages. I think the Blood Slaves as well. I think that's what killed them. Uh, and that's uh, just a weird fight. Just kind of... Just a bunch of crap getting dumped onto the battlefield and... <laughs> we get the worst of it. Let me just check where all of our Blood Slaves went. Is it is it literally just Earthquake? That's so funny, if so. But there's all the Blood Slaves. There's like hundreds of Blood Slaves here. Oh, they're all getting popped now. What is... I guess they're being spent at the moment. They do have fire resist. Right, yeah, they've got fire resistance. I suppose it's possible they don't have enough fire resistance. Because this is six armor piercing. They've got fire resi five fire resist. No, okay. Yeah, earthquake kills them. All right. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess Earthquake just instantly counters Blood Nations, unless you get up Mass Flight quickly. That's a good lesson to learn for the future as well, right? Okay. 
Um, so I learned two things. I learned um, Water Nations are very good against demons, and uh, Earthquakes are very good against Blood Slaves. So, you know, that's a good takeaway. I uh, lost the, the throne though, unfortunately. Uh, events? What do we get for events? Five, eight fire gems, some gold, some gold? That's not bad. Um, but there we go. So there's Hagoria, uh, gone. We do have Mabakiel here who's back on assassinating duty, so we can at least be annoying, I suppose. Um, Bilal is going to move over to pick up his hat, and he can join in as well. Uh, not sure what else to do. Um, we definitely cannot take this throne back. That's important. And this was a great province as well. Had the crypt underneath and uh, Black Tower. So farewell to Hagoria. Great province for uh, the whole game. I think the only thing we can really do now is just hold our other thrones and hope that we win. So all the stuff around here is just trying to get to Melma, or maybe Zoglir as well. The golem ran away. Golem and the uh, mage. So maybe he tries to take this next instead, I don't know. But uh, we'll use what we've got in Russ. it's not much. Some mages, some demon knights. Those guys will head over here, we'll, we'll just make sure that we can defend these two thrones as best we can. Um, if this army just walks at us, then we can't really do anything about that. But uh, we'll do what we can. And uh, same up in Solium, I'll just keep ramming stuff into Solium. Uh, continue blood hunting, and continue doing big summons out of my cap, so... Still doing Infernal Tempest and Forces of Darkness. And we'll try and do something. Uh, I'm not sure what, though. <laughs> we'll try and do something. Um, I think importantly we just have to hold on to these two thrones. And um, Nifal only needs one throne now to win, though, is the thing, so... Unless people all just kind of gang up on Nifal, I think they just win the game. Just a question of how quickly they do it, right? Yeah, I think our uh, game is over, though. We'll just defend thrones and hope that we win by luck. That's the best we can do. Um, what should we be researching now? I don't know. I mean, alteration seemed good for um, for the big protection spells, but I guess we need enchantment seven for mass flight. Maybe we can still do that. Then that. Then that. <laughs> In theory. Well, we'll see. Ah, uh, that's this turn, though. I am getting down temples, so, you know, that's, there's that as well. And uh, there's splots in the global now? What did we just lose? Oh, we lost Looming Hell, that's right, yeah. I could put up Purgatory next turn, though, to clear out some of this undead stuff in our Dominion. That's something. We'll have 88 Fire Gems next turn, so yeah, we'll do that. Ah, uh, that's the turn, though. Uh, so that was in 68. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, right, Nifal has claimed our throne. Um, I think, judging from the Discord, they might be about to win. I don't think they can be stopped. They're in a very dominant position. I think they're storming another throne this turn. So it's very possible that this game ends imminently. Uh, we still got a message from Agatha declaring war, but it's, it's sick and I'm not going to click it. Um, I got to also put up Eyes of God, and yeah, I think, yeah, the game's probably drawing to a close. I might just look at the map first before I look at the reports, because it's a bit easier, because we did get attacked by a Goth along this edge. Um, so we can see a few things. We saw a Golem and a Yacht and Werewolf belonging to a Goth, quite amusingly, uh, hitting Rid. And then we also had an army land on us in Zoglia. Um, so this was um, Nifal um, start sieging this still with uh, some summons. Yes, yeah, so we have a little army here. It's mostly some Umbral guys at the back and a couple of Sacreds in the front. With the Goths Bless, which is attack, defense, reinvigoration, friction res resistance, and combat speed. Uh, and some Mind Blasters as well. Um, so it's pretty small. There are quite a few like large, interesting mages though. We've got Queen of the Deeps, uh, Sea King. Oracle of Subterranean Fires. I mean, I guess this army also just does Earthquake, right? So, kind of small, but some interesting mages. Uh, that's Sieging Zoglia. Uh, and we can also see a little stack moving up here, and a stack in Queen Forest, too. So this is more mages, but they're less powerful. So there's like nine Earth Readers, and three Engravers, and so on. Some Windmasters and Shaman. Uh, fewer units, though. So, more less powerful mages, but fewer units. So this one looks like this. 
So some dudes at the back. Just some shaman and windmasters and stuff. Go with a uh, research booster. Um, can't even really see many items on this army. So this one might be less difficult, I'm not sure. Um, however, we also saw Fomoria attacking Relothia this turn. Uh, and this is a cool fight. And Agatha does win this, but there's lots of stuff here that might be able to just ritual straight onto our throne, so... It's possible we might get attacked by more than what we can see right now if stuff from here moves. But anyway. Here's Fomoria trying to take uh, Agatha's throne. Storm is up. What's the storm power? Uh, Agatha's god is also in this battle uh, over here. And an Aki of growth and rebirth. Uh, Agatha puts up fog warriors. Moria does not. And lots of Ellie spam to begin with. And here lots of uh, air Ellie's walking around the battlefield. Lots of lightning bolts too. Battle mostly on from Moria's side so far. And Fomoria is slowly chewing through the units it seems like. Uh, Agatha now has Relief up. We also have Storm and Storm and Wrathful Skies uh, from Fomoria. Oh cool. They head up the big lightning spell I was worried about. Yeah, I can see lots of lightning bolts coming down constantly. I mean, so far this seems pretty good for uh, Fomoria. Uh, Agatha now also has Howl up. Tons of Aerolies coming onto the field still. I don't think the wolves are going to be a problem for Fomoria's backline. Uh, Agatha has more Aerolies coming out now. I don't know, so far this you'd think um, Fomoria gets the better of this. Is he just going to get owned by uh, the big thugs at the back? Maybe stuff is starting to route on his side? I don't know. The McGarthen stuff is routing. Oh, some Fomoria stuff is routing now as well. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Damn, yeah, it looks like Fomori just broke at the end. That's too bad. They did pretty well. Ah, uh, the bridge is now moving forwards. Never a good sign. Yeah, oh well. Uh, nice try from Fomori. And does the queen escape? Looks like it. Nice. Alright, well there was uh, Fomoria trying to take the throne off Agatha. So maybe he won't cloud trap his stuff out of this because it's pretty lightly defended now, but who knows. Um, I think those were the, the important battles. Great Woods got hit a lot. Hit by werewolves and then stuff moved into it, but we, that's where we were like putting our units that were moving down. Um... So we've got these guys just kind of moving through. These might all die to rituals this turn, I don't know. But uh, I think that's it for important battles. Uh, we caught a scout over here, I think, yeah. And uh, we moved into Girthyug. So our storm demons are there now as well. Uh, but here's how the map looks. Um, okay, so I think the game is over. So <laughs> probably don't have to worry too much. But um, I will try to protect my thrones, since, you know, if we have any chance of winning, we need to hold our thrones. Um, so we can see two armies. One is, like, more units and fewer, like, like more important-looking mages. 
So I'm going to move Mabakiel and Beloyal over here. We'll try and assassinate two of their mages before the storm happens, because um, this port has not been broken open yet. We have another turn. Um, so I think if Mabakiel and Beloyal manage to assassinate any of these commanders, um, that should probably really screw up his scripting, because this looks a bit more dependent on these guys. Um, although there are quite a few sacreds as well. Um, but our fortress has a bunch of smolder ghosts in it, and quite a few mind blasters and stuff. This fort actually has quite a few units. And I've just decided to have all of my blood mages are just going to do infernal breeding as well. So we'll put a bunch of junk in the fort. And I think we might be okay if we manage to cap some important mages. Uh, also summoning some fire drakes, and yeah, lots of infernal breeding. So that's the plan there. Uh, over here, Melmer is not under siege yet, so we we'll still have a little bit of time here as well. Um, so the plan is just to put every unit I can into RAS, uh, which isn't much. But um, this army doesn't have much. It's mostly just the mages. So if we have some really good troops, like um, lots of storm demons and demon knights, uh, maybe we can just walk into it and we'll be okay. Who knows? We'll give it a shot, though. And so for the time being, that's all I'm really doing over here. We'll just try to prevent these two thrones from going missing. Uh, and then we'll see if we just lose the game in two turns, so uh, stay tuned for that. Not much else happening. I did realize we can't really do much because we've lost so many boosters. Um, so one thing I could just randomly do this turn is put up Purgatory. But we don't actually have a Flame Helmet anymore, so it's actually pretty hard to do that. So uh, yeah, we really just have what we have at the moment. Uh, I don't think anything else too interesting is happening. Still doing uh, Infernal Tempest and Forces of Darkness in my cap every month. I'm trying to get those units out. Uh, yeah, and just summoning some stuff. Some lines as well as uh, Fire Drakes. Yeah, we have some stuff in our cap currently. I've given uh, this guy a, um, a Moonblade and a Rabbit Foot Charm. And I'm also moving out this guy with some units. So we've got some Darkness Demons and Storm Demons and some high quality junk we've been getting out of our random summons. Uh, they're just moving to Girthjog, so they'll be here next turn. Uh, and Voldy's here too, as well, with her uh, the only rem remaining Starshine and Skullcap in our empire. Um, so those guys are being Girthjog, and maybe we can move those guys somewhere as well to do something. But it uh, might be a bit too late. Uh, that is the turn, though, currently. I did put a bunch of PD in Ras. That's up to 30. And I put Melmer up to 62. <laughs> Because I thought, you know, if this army just moves straight onto us, it's not that many units. You know, maybe a lot of PD can actually kill some stuff and uh, screw the army up. Who knows? But yeah, that was 1069. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. I uh, got the enchantment done. So in theory, we now could do uh, mass flight, which is something. Uh, and some battles then. There was uh, for Moria. Attacking us in Dampdale. Uh, what was that about? I'm not sure. Maybe just a uh, diseased commander or something? Let's just check. Let's just check. Uh, that is a very. Oh, feeble minded commander, yeah. I can take the items off her though. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, that was Dampdale. And then we saw a Gotha moving an army onto our fort in Melma. Uh, I did bump up the PD here massively. Uh, which does cause this army to use all of its gems, which is nice. So there's a few guys with gems. There's like Urmasters who have Ur gems. Um, I found some guys who have Earth gems. So these two guys have Earth gems. There's a Death Mage up here with Death gems. Uh, these all get spent, which is good. So just some Aerolies and this Curse of Stones goes up and Wisps. Uh, I'm not sure what the Death Mage does with his gems. I think he just used them to cast Horde of Skeletons, which is pretty funny. Um, yeah, so the PD used up all the gems at least, which is nice. There might be more gems being carried by commanders, I suppose. I didn't really check too much. There might be a scout or something. I don't know. But uh, we don't do much damage beyond that. We kill a couple of units. I guess we killed some good units. We killed five sea trolls and Two seal guards, six ancient ones. It's not too bad. 
There's a lot of PD though. Uh, Worldwide event, there's uh, horror stuff happening, and yeah, did some patrolling. I also bid on a bunch of mercenaries last turn, we got one of them. We got these Celestial Apostates. So these guys are pretty good. Uh, kind of nice. But um, that's kind of it for this game, unfortunately. It does sound like from the Discord that Nifelheim's about to win. Um, so there's not much we can do at this point, unfortunately. We can at least try to preserve our own thrones. Um, so we'll do that as best we can. Um, all of the fire mages I have in this kind of region, they're all just casting fires from afar. Not going to do much damage, but um, yeah, it's a lot of people doing it. I think there's like four mages who can all do it. So they're all just casting fires from afar at Melma. And then I have the dudes inside here breaking siege with uh, just some junk. And then the guys who've built up in Ras are moving over as well. So kind of a varied mix of units, some demon knights, a line of soul um, corpse constructs. We do have some storm demons in the back. We've got the celestial apostate guys, some flying units, uh, some random mages spread around. These three fire mages down here uh, are just doing flame ward on this stuff. The storm demons and the mercenaries don't have any fire magic, uh, fire resistance, and neither do any other things in this block here. All these mages. Um, other guys are just doing random spells. We've got Bifrons buffing himself and going on advance and cast spells. Death Mages just doing Horde of Skeletons. Uh, and one guy, our social relationship, this is my guy holding um, Pyre. He's going to do Firestorm. So that's really it. It's just um, quite a lot of good troops and some fire resistance and Firestorm. So that's what's hitting Melma. So hopefully we beat this stuff. Um, I think we might. We'll see. Um, over here, Zoglier is a more interesting army. Lots of like really good mages and stuff. So I have Belial and Mabakiel. Belial is going to try and corrupt something. Mabakiel is going to try and assassinate something. Uh, and hopefully we, yeah, we, hopefully we take out two commanders that are really important. And then we get to have a fight with not really as much stuff. Don't really have any good mages in this battle. But we do have lots of um, smaller ghosts. A couple of um, Crossbreeding things, some some alliance, and I'm doing a bunch more casts of infernal breeding this turn as well, as well as a fire drake and more some alliance. So hopefully we win both of these. Um, maybe we will. Maybe we won't. We'll see. But uh, that's all that's really happening this turn. We do have some more stuff over here coming over, but um, yeah, not much they can do anymore. It does seem like Niffle's about to win. We'll see though, it could be a massive bluff, who knows. Uh, not much else to say though at the moment. We'll just try and hold on to these thrones. Uh, and that was turn 70. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, we have a message from Niflheim. Uh Did some spells, some people got eaten by horrors, as the um, cataclysm kicks in. Put some blood slaves. Uh, then Belial and Mabachiel tried to do some commanders. And Belial got a Sea King, which is, I guess, something. That's not quite as impactful as I would have liked. Uh, and Mabachiel assassinated an ancient lord, which is like the worst thing he could have assassinated. <laughs> this guy's just a leader, he's useless. Um, so, over in Hogoria, we didn't. Uh, not Hogoria, Zoglia. Um, over in Zoglia, we didn't really, <laughs> didn't really assassinate anyone terribly useful. Unfortunately. Uh, but we'll see how the battle went anyway. Uh, we also had a battle in Melma. So this is when we moved into to try and break siege. We got some salamanders, some demon knights, storm demons, um, celestial soldiers, and bifrons. A couple of weird dudes in the front. Um, into some ancient ones. Some raiders, foul spawn, some sea trolls, and a bunch of uh, little Earth Reader guys, these guys. The plan here was mostly just to put up um, Firestorm and hope that just cleared stuff out. So we're doing lots of uh, fire wards back here. Got some hell spawn clearing out wolves, great stuff. And there's Firestorm.
There's some stuff put on our back, but nothing really frightening. You see trolls landing on us. We got the demon knights up on his side though. A bit more impactful. I think Firestorm is probably killing lots of the little guys. Oh no, these guys have got fire resistance, a little bit of it. I think Firestorm does 6 armor piercing there, right? Yeah, I guess 5 fire res might not be enough. Although they've got protection as well, I assume. Oh yeah, he's got tons of protection there, 20. A lot more of our stuff is still alive though. Lots of um, <laughs> trapped fire elementals, really useful. Looks like mostly the storm demon's getting kills at this point. Uh, but there we go, so we broke siege in one spot. Uh, there's Melma. Let's see, yeah, storm demon's got 35 kills. Hellspawn got 46, so that was mostly uh, wolves, I think. Uh, killed 52 things with the firestorm. Lost a few mages though. Um, but that's okay, we kept hold of that throne. Uh, and then there's also a battle at the fortress in Zoglia. So I was hoping we'd assassinate, like, this thing or something, or um, one of the big alms. Uh, wow, a furry. Yeah, something like that would have been cool to assassinate. Uh, instead we assassinated a mundane dude in a sea troll. So, mostly just relying on the uh, smolder ghosts in this one, although... Yeah, these guys have a magic attack, I guess they're going to ignore the... the reality. We killed lots of the umbrals though. Damn, they went down pretty quick. Not sure what spell that was, it looked like a battlefield wide thing just hit us. That was a big breath attack from the fire drake. Drake fire. That's pretty good. Decent damage as well. Uh, he's got the Yacht and Werewolf here. 17 fire resistance. That's a Demon Bane. What are these units we got? Hellbred Horite. I don't think I've seen those ones before. Uh, not, not very good though, they've only got a fist attack unfortunately. Looks like we've lost the Smolder Ghost. I didn't really have any big spells in this battle, so... It's like we've really struggled to kill this werewolf, unfortunately. Yeah, he's not even losing health. Some stuff routing. Most of our stuff is routed as well, though. Yeah, I feel like if we'd managed to assassinate this guy, maybe that would have uh, helped us a bit more than assassinating a random commander. Um, but oh well, he also had this stuff over here still, casting spells. Um, so close. So uh, yeah, we lost that one. Uh, too bad. Yeah, I need more ma mages over here, I suppose. Maybe if I like cloud trapeze my, my god over here and teleported um, Malphus, maybe they could have tipped the tide, but... I don't know. I uh, lost that one anyway. Uh, but the throne was claimed by Nif this turn, so uh, they did end up winning. Uh, so that's the end of that anyway. What do we get for events? Let's see.
Death gems, uh, gems, luck, misfortune, and horrors. Oh well. Um, I think we get the replay though, right? If I still click this. View history, yeah. Um, so that was Rabbit. Let's see, where was Niflheim? So I think they had like a really quiet game and just nobody attacked them all game. <laughs> um, which is a similar game to the one we had. Uh, let's see how they did. Wonder who got Beratos? Was that just Makoni? Oh yeah, that's right. It was just. Oh, it looks like Nif got them as well. Okay. So did Nif get Ubar as well? Or wonder who got them? Yeah, it looks like it. So I guess they got a piece of Makoni. Uh, I mean, a piece of Beratos, and then they got a piece of Ubar. And then is did they go back and get Makoni after that? Let's find out. Uh, yep, that was a very quick war. Holy shit. Yeah, good game for a Nifal. Um, How did other people do? And Fomoria was very small in the end, I didn't realize that. Magartha wasn't that big either. Yeah, damn. Well, kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, so that was Rabbit. Uh, I'll take a look at the graphs then, I think, and then I'll <laughs> talk about the game. Let's see, let's see what the graphs look like. Okay, provinces. Um, so yeah, Nif is like massive at the end, holy shit. Way, way bigger than everybody. Uh, and I guess that's Agartha. And I had a sense that we were like really big most of the game, but I guess we weren't really. Is that Machaca next to us? They were barely larger than Machaca. In fact, Machaca was larger than us for most of the game. So we, I guess this is when we took Russ's stuff, yeah. That's pretty interesting. Um, is that Makoni as well, who just kind of vanished? That's pretty funny. So yeah, Memoria, Machaka, Agartha, me and Nif. I guess it took us too long to have our second war, if we wanted to keep pace with Niflheim. Maybe. Uh, Forts doesn't really tell you much, I don't think. Income usually just tracks provinces, although we had terrible scales. Although our income isn't bad, considering our scales. I guess Abyssia is immune to um, Deep 3 and mostly to Death 3 as well, so a bit misleading, the scales. Uh, we didn't do too bad though on income, especially since we were also like blood hunting all our provinces as well. Yeah, that's actually pretty surprising how good our economy is, actually. Um, yeah, and Fomoria was pretty small, right? Yeah. Interesting. Gem income. Um, yeah, we were doing worse than I thought, but I don't think this tracks blood slave income at all, so it's also kind of misleading. Because, um, I mean, if you include blood slaves, we'd be, like, way over everybody, because we're making, like, 200 a turn. Um, besides that, though, we know that Agartha had a bunch of globals up for a while. And, uh, yeah, Nif just had tons of gems as well. Gem income always kinds of tr kind of tracks provinces, though, so not hugely surprising. Uh, research. Damn, I, hmm, I didn't realize I was that far behind people. Well, I mean, I guess I kept pace in the end, but it, it's weird that I'm that far behind. I thought I did pretty well on research this game. Um, interesting that Fomoria has so much research, even though they were so small. Though, I guess if you mostly just research, then that makes sense, right? Um, yeah. Damn, Makoni was the research leader for most of the game? That's crazy. But then they just got, like, got, and that was that. <laughs> uh, Dominion we did pretty well on. We had a lot of blood sacking, I guess. Lots of temples around in Sarah's domain and in Russ's domain as well at the end. Um, I always like to push Dominion as much as I can. Didn't really get to make much use of it aggressively, though. I mean, I guess we had Looming Hell out, but that's a bit underwhelming as a global, I think. Especially considering how difficult it is to cast. Uh, army size, I mean, we had tons of junk everywhere, blood um, blood hunting and patrolling, so yeah. And then we were getting demons online. I think maybe I just didn't get all the good demons out quickly enough. I feel like there was like a long period in the middle of the game where I, I just wasn't scaling up blood hunting fast enough somehow, I don't know. That'd be really hard to do if you only had cat mages as well. Because we were really lucky that we got a blood mage site early on that was like really good. 
And even with that, I, I, I mean, I think my blood economy was just really slow coming online. I don't know why. I mean, this is the first game I've really done a lot of blood stuff, though, so it was mostly a learning experience for me. Uh, but anyway, there's the graphs. What about the Hall of Fame? Uh, mostly just Niff. We got a mummy from... Uh, oh, I can't even click it. Can I click the Niffle he want? No, damn. I can't click anything. Well, mostly Niff in the uh, Hall of Fame. One a goth and mummy, and one for Mori and uh, Morrigan thing. Interesting. Uh, well, there is Rabbit. He was the Thrones in the end. We did technically come second, so that's something. Uh, yeah, what to make of this game? I don't know, that was fun, regardless of the outcome. I, I did enjoy it. But it was my first time really trying to do blood stuff, and I, I guess I'm... I don't really know what I'm doing. It's a bit weird as well, because it's a JBBM game. I know in, in vanilla, if you get like a bunch of blood death mages, you just spam vampires everywhere, right? Can't really do that in this mod, because it's a transform, not a summon. But maybe I should have used the regular vampires more. I really like those units, they were cool. The problem is they're fire vulnerable, so they don't really synergize very well with any of our stuff, so... It felt weird to summon lots of vampires. I think the early game went okay, though. Um, it would have been nice to get better expansion, because we could have expanded really well, but we just hit our neighbors too quickly. But I uh, picked up some of Sarah's stuff. It was hard finishing off Sarrow, um, because I just wanted to get blood magic researched. And I didn't want to fall behind too much on research either, so... If we could get away with just sitting here with a few things preaching and uh, blood sacking and killing him like that... That seemed, sounded preferable, I don't know. But then yeah, the next section of the game was mostly just trying to scale up blood hunting, and I just... I don't think I did it very well, but I don't know. I feel like I did it as best I could. It was getting pretty good in the end. But uh, just too late getting to that point, especially since Cataclysm was pretty soon afterwards. I don't know, maybe blood is only like really good if you've got like a hundred turn game or something, I don't know. Or just more blood mages that you can recruit in other places. Yeah, I suppose if we could recruit blood mages out of all of our forts, we would have scaled it up much faster, right? So I guess that's also something. Uh, and then light game, I guess I just... I didn't really think about what spells we'd need to... Point Niffle here. I mean, I guess, yeah, it was all just a learning experience, though. I keep having games where I find, like, certain battlefield spells are, like, really important, and then I go, okay, yeah, I'll definitely try to get that in my next game, and then need some other battlefield spell <laughs> instead. Because um, it would have been... I did, in saying that, though, I didn't even get Alteration to 9, did I? No. I didn't even get to try, like, a bunch of demons with Army of Gold on them, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, should have had Mass Flight, and, um... I don't know what you do against all that anti-demon stuff, though. If someone's just spamming demon cleansing with cleansing waters... Doesn't that just own you no matter what? It's, it seems pretty hard to deal with. I guess Water Nation is just counter demons, though, right? What it seems like. I don't know, it was fun anyway. I got to play around with crossbreeding. Not as much as I would have liked, but... Yeah, Nif is huge as well, look at this. They have a massive amount of territory. Uh, yeah, but that was Rabbit, um, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you have watched the series all the way to the end, congratulations. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, or liking the video, or leaving a comment or something. Uh, let me know that you enjoyed it. And other than that, I'm not sure what's going to be next. There's currently a Malverni game going up on the channel. Um, but I haven't even registered for another game yet, so I'm not, I don't know what the next one's going to be. There are no lobbies that are like um, filling up yet. So, I don't know. But I guess go watch the Marvoni game. Or don't, because the place I'm up to I actually play in the game was pretty bad. It was a really bad turn. I, I do not recommend the Marvoni game. Um, but either way, uh, that was Rabbit. Thanks for watching. Hope I see you around. And goodbye.